Are there two irrational numbers, let's say x and y, such that x to the y is irrational? I encourage you to pause and try to answer the question yourself. So consider when x and y both equal the square root of 2. If root 2 to the root 2 is irrational, well, we've solved the problem. Else, root 2 to the root 2 is irrational, which means root 2 to the root 2 to the root 2 is also the power of two irrationals, where x is root 2 to the root 2 and y is root 2. Using some basic exponent rules, we get root 2 to the root 2 times root 2, or root 2 squared, which equals 2, a rational. So, whether root 2 to the root 2 is rational or not, there exists at least two irrational numbers, x and y, such that x to the y is rational. So that's a very clever little way to solve the problem, but the question still remains. Is root 2 to the root 2 irrational or rational? The answer is, it's irrational. To show this, we can use the Gilfen-Schneider theorem, which says that for two algebraic numbers, a and b, if a is not equal to 0 or 1, and b is irrational, a to the b is transcendental. First, what are algebraic numbers? A number is algebraic if it is a root, or 0, of a non-zero polynomial equation with rational coefficients. So, integers and rationals are all algebraic, as are some irrationals, like root 2, which is the root of the polynomial x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. Numbers that are not algebraic are transcendental, numbers like pi and e. So, according to the Gilfen-Schneider theorem, root 2 to the root 2 must be transcendental, as the base, root 2, is algebraic, and the exponent, root 2, is algebraic and irrational. So yes, not only is root 2 to the root 2 irrational, it is transcendental. By the way, algebraic numbers can be complex numbers, since some roots of polynomials are complex. Additionally, a complex number with a non-zero imaginary part is considered not rational in the Gilfen-Schneider theorem. Therefore, the number negative 1 to the negative i is transcendental, since the base negative 1 is algebraic, and exponent negative i is algebraic and irrational. Why is this interesting? Well, according to Euler's identity, e to the i pi is negative 1. So negative 1 to the negative i is e to the i pi to the negative i, which is e to the negative i squared pi, which is just e to the pi. Hence, by the Gelfin-Schneider theorem, e to the pi is transcendental. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, thank you guys so much for all the support that I've been getting. We just surpassed 1,000 subscribers, like that's that's crazy, I never thought I'd go this far already. I have a lot more ideas, and a lot more videos and content I want to create, so just look out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you next time.